Echidnas are monotremes, which are a group of egg-laying mammals found only in Australia and New Guinea. Male echidnas have a four-headed penis, which is unusual among mammals. The penis is covered in small spines, which help to anchor the penis inside the female echidna's reproductive tract during mating. Only two of the four heads of the penis are used during each mating, and the heads used alternate between mattings. This may be an adaptation to ensure that the female's reproductive tract is thoroughly stimulated during mating. Another interesting fact about echidna penises is that they are not always visible. When not in use, the penis is retracted inside a cloaca, which is a common opening for the reproductive, urinary, and digestive systems. During mating, the male echidna must use his hind legs to position himself on top of the female and insert his penis into her cloaca. This can be a tricky and awkward process, as the male echidna's spines can sometimes get caught in the female's spines or skin folds. Another interesting feature of echidna penises is that they have no urethra. Instead, the semen is released through small ducts located on the tips of the penis heads. Male echidnas also lack testicles, which are usually responsible for producing sperm. Instead, they have testes-like structures called testicular ampullae which are located in their abdomen. These structures produce sperm during the breeding season, which is typically between June and September. It's also worth noting that echidnas are one of the few mammals that have a completely different reproductive system from other placental mammals. For example, while most mammals have a placenta that nourishes the developing fetus, echidnas lay eggs, which they then incubate in a pouch. One interesting aspect of echidna reproduction is that it involves a process known as delayed implantation. After a female echidna lays her egg, it is fertilized by the male and then incubated in a pouch on the female's belly for about 10 days. However, after this initial incubation period, the development of the embryo pauses, and the egg remains in a state of suspended animation for several months. This allows the female to delay the actual implantation of the embryo until conditions are more favorable for the survival of the developing offspring. Delayed implantation is a relatively rare phenomenon in mammals, and it is not fully understood how echidnas and other species that exhibit this behavior are able to regulate the timing of embryo development. Another interesting aspect of echidna reproduction is that the males engage in what is known as a train during the mating season. This involves a group of males following a female around, each one trying to mate with her. As the males pursue the female, they often emit a loud, high-pitched vocalization, which is thought to be a signal to other males to stay away. Once a male successfully mates with the female, he will often move on to join another train and repeat the process. It's worth noting that while this behavior may seem aggressive or competitive, it is actually an example of cooperative behavior among males. By working together to pursue a female, they increase the chances that at least one of them will successfully mate and pass on their genes. Overall, echidnas are a fascinating example of the diversity of life on our planet, with unique adaptations and behaviors that have evolved over millions of years of evolution.